you signed the contract this morning, last night, was it a... Uh, we finished it up last night and uh, it was all signed up. Compare the uh, the emotions to signing that contract to hearing your name picked as number one and coming to the hometown team. Uh, is there any comparison or not? Uh, you know, kind of just flashback to uh, to draft day, I suppose you could say. But at the same time, you know, we're out here on the field right now and none of that really matters right now. I still have to perform. How important was it to get that done before day one? Yeah, well, there's there's no way I was going to be missing this, so it was going to get done one way or another. How excited get- were you to get out here today? Uh, very excited. You know, obviously there's a lot of build-up um, right from the start of the off-season and through the draft up till now. So yeah, I'm uh, thankful for the opportunity. Doesn't saying your position that you want to come here kind of weaken your negotiating position with the team? I know in a sense, but, uh, you know, they want me to be here and they want what's fair and we want what's fair as well. So they were uh, they were able to handle it pretty good. Only one day of rookie camp, but what's it like practicing as a pro now and with the run? I know it's a step up. It's a huge step. And it's, uh, you know, just a lot of learning, the playbook, techniques, uh, the coaching is different, just everything. So just have to absorb it all in. You get that feeling that a lot of eyes are on you or not? Oh, well, when you come over here, you kind of get that vibe. But, no, nonetheless, it's, uh, you know, bottom line, I'm still a player, just like everyone else out there trying to uh, trying to learn. I see Sweet didn't take any pity on you there today. Uh, you know, it's kind of a wake-up call. Yeah, you know, in a sense, he's, uh, he's a great coach, so he knows what he's doing. And uh, he wants me to get better just as much as I do. Does it give you an indication where you're going to be playing guard, tackle, anything like that? Uh, I probably end up starting a guard somewhere. And, uh, you know, I'll be taking the reps up left and right, and then we'll see maybe if they, uh, if they see fit to move me, they probably will. We'll see. Do you want to be a starter right off the bat? What do you think you have to do for the next little while? You know, I want to, I want to be a starter as soon as, I, as soon as I can, obviously, and there's a, there's a long road uh, of development ahead for me, so I just have to, uh, you know, pick up as much as I can from coaches and other players. The mindset, obviously, with the rookie camp, how much does it change when you go into the main camp saying you want to be a starter? Because obviously you want to make an impact that first practice. All right, well, obviously, you know, out here it's, it is only rookie camp. There's probably about 50 guys here. And so when uh, when all the vets come, it's going to be a lot different. So it's, uh, it's going to be another step from rookie camp to main camp.